So 10 years ago, I started my first tomato plant from seed. And I want to share with you all the mistakes and in trying to start my seedlings. Okay, here goes. Uh, basically, for me, I was going through some financial hard times. You know, money was tight and such. My dream was I wanted to start my own business, growing and selling to heirloom tomato plants. You don't see a lot of these plants in your, in your grocery stores. You go to the grocery store and you see a lot of these tomato plants, but you see more of your common types, your big boys, your better boys your early girls and you really don't see types like Brad's Atomic Grape or Costa Ludo, Aunt Ruby's German Green or Big Rainbow. You don't see those type of varieties normally at your big box stores. I decided that I wanted to grow my own tomato plant from seed and that's what I did. I was intimidated how to do it. I didn't know what to do. So basically I decided that I'm going to go on the internet, I'm going to do some research and I'm going to find out what do I need to do to be able to grow my own tomatoes from seed, which is what I did. So I went on ahead and I got some seed trays. Seed trays like these. This right here has a humidity dome on it, which is really good for keeping the humidity and the moisture and everything inside and also to keep these things warm. I had to understand the heat levels or the temperature that these seedlings would germinate. And I found out that the optimum temperatures is 85 degrees for your seeds to germinate. That is one thing to remember. 85 degrees is the temperature that it takes for tomato seeds to germinate best. You may have tomato seedlings that come up three days after you plant them. And you may have some seeds that come up 10 days or later after you plant them. So that is another thing that you got to look out for once these seeds come up. I had to pick out the variety of tomato that I wanted to grow. I chose brandy. Well, brandy one is one of those tomato plants that have potato leaves. I never seen that before. It was very unique, it was very interesting. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna try growing brandy wine. That's what I did. So I got the brandy wine tomato seeds and I planted them. One of the lighting that I did have was a small two foot long T12 double bulb shop light. My concern that I learned over the years of growing seedlings since I was a kid was that seedlings will stretch towards the light. They're not getting enough light, they're gonna stretch. They're gonna get really long to get to the light. That is one of the things that I had to learn. And I've made many, many mistakes, even since I was a five-year-old kid. You know, that's how long I've been gardening, since I was five. I did not even start my first tomato seed until 10 years ago, back in 2009. That was the first time I ever started my first tomato plant seed. For so long, I never really understood why, when I try to grow seedlings indoors, they always got long and leggy. I just didn't have the knowledge to even realize that it's the light. You don't give a plant enough light, it's gonna stretch to reach light. That right there is lessons that I had to learn and lessons that I wanna pass on to you all, the new growers out there. Make sure that your seedlings get plenty of bright light. I didn't have the luxury of having LEDs. In fact, money was tight for me, me and my family. Another thing is this, when your tomato plants come up and they start rising up out of this, that potting mix, you don't need to get them no fertilizer just yet. The first two, the first baby leaves that comes out of those little tomato plants have all the nutrients and everything that the plant needs to grow for the time being. And that's until the tomato plants get their first true leaves. Once the first true leaves of the tomato plant comes out, then you'll see this is going to be a tomato plant. You just want to just go ahead and start giving these young little seedlings weak dosage of fertilizer. Could be miracle Grow or any type of water soluble fertilizer, whether it be synthetic or organic. Whatever type of fertilizer you want to use, choice is yours. So once your tomato plants have their first true leaves, you probably want to give them like a week or so, and then you want to shift them to a larger size container. What I mean a larger size, maybe like a two inch container. Now after eight weeks, this is how long it takes to go from seedling to a tomato plant that's ready to go outdoors is eight weeks. But if you're going to be growing tomatoes indoors and you're going to be putting those tomatoes in your hydroponic system inside of your home or wherever, you can start tomatoes any time of the year. And I will be working on videos also to show you different type of varieties of tomatoes that work very, very well for growing in confined places as well as indoors as well. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day.